Hello everyone, and today Rishon and I are going to show you an exciting new mod for Minecraft, and it's called Galacticraft. Now Galacticraft allows you to explore the solar system in a rocket ship to establish uh, space stations and, uh, and bases on these planets. And for this first video, we're going to show you how to create your own oxygen supply system so that you can survive out there in space and how to create the power and electricity systems to generate that uh, oxygen system. And this is Skylab 2, uh, the space station which Rishon and I built orbiting the Earth. So you can see Skylab 2 now spinning slowly and the Earth below it. Rishon, why don't you come meet me at the launch pad? Okay. Whoa, don't fly way too far away. In space, uh, in this mode, there is, as I just demonstrated, much less gravity than on Earth. Yes, so it is quite true to real life. And that's yes. me there. Hello. And How do you like my astronaut suit? These, uh, this is the sta sta space station we've created, which has power and oxygen. We and most of the power is from those solar panels. These solar panels uh, are advanced, so called advanced solar panels. They rotate to where the sun is, so they can face it. So where is the sun? It's over there. No. Oh yeah, it is. It's... Uh, this is a glitch because the space station is spinning. And where's the moon? The moon is... Oh, there it is. It's a half moon. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, on my uh, character, as you can see, it, ha he, it has an oxygen mask, oxygen gear, and two large oxygen tanks. We need the oxygen tanks to breathe in space on this mod. Uh, for example... I'm alive now, but if I take my oxygen tanks off, I'll start dying because my okay, put them back is, on. Put them back on. <laughs> is in invalid. Okay, you just entered the airlock there. And here is the is where we store all the necessary things in the space station. For example, grappling hooks in case we get uh, yeah, like lost in outer space and I still am on survival um, this station has oxygen to prove it I will take off my oxygen tanks and I'm still alive, still alive. in the top right corner it, you can see that it has empty bars these bars are my oxygen tanks if I put my oxygen tanks back on it will show that they are full, or almost full, since I used a bit of that. Okay, Rishan, why don't we show them what's in the chest here in the control room? In this chest, there's our equipment we need. I've got to equip all the equipment except for, for the frequency module and parachutes. And this is equipment you need when you go out into space? Uh, the frequency module helps you hear properly in outer space. And the oxygen gear, oxygen mask help you operate uh, uh, the oxygen tanks which you use to help you survive. And here is the lab. This is a leaded chest which was which you can store radioactive chemicals in it so they do not decay. In this chest, there are. Uh, other surface rocks and more and this is a microscope this is a chemist journal which you can use to record what you find and find out how to make or uh, that okay let's go right to the end Richard, and show them where we get our oxygen from and we don't get our oxygen from tanks or machines or we, we get our oxygen from trees and potatoes 
We do this by collecting the oxygen produced by them using oxygen collectors. And that's how I can breathe without these tanks. And these sealers are using the oxygen which is being collected to give this room oxygen and these pipes lead to the other parts of the station as you can see here and the aluminium wires are used for power because these collectors need an electricity supply don't they yes and so does the seal up and I forgot to put my oxygen tanks back on when I got in space. So if I go up here, we'll <laughs> see the advanced solar panels. And if we just go to a few, it will sometimes there's a slot here where you can where you can charge a battery. And these can only operate when seeing the sun, and they provide most if not all of the power for the space station the mod the mod does allow you to use uh nuclear reactors uh, but we felt it'd be too dangerous that, in that the space is station. A uh oh that was close <laughs> you nearly These fell down to earth just now richard and burned up in the atmosphere actually in this mod you do not burn up in the atmosphere and you still can use the parachutes and these aluminium wires connect uh, are, the, are used for, to transfer electricity aluminium wires instead of anything else are used because they're strong and they're a good uh, conductor of electricity and and if we unseal the area for example if i break through this glass it will become unsealed for example if we look at this it says it's too big or unsealed but if we close it it will after the next check say that it is sealed as i just said you need string to operate the grappling hook where are you I'm coming to you. Okay. The oxygen collectors and sealer needs power to operate. And to get a sustainable energy source, you need to get uh, to have at least a 9 by 9 wheat farm. You're talking about oxygen supply, aren't yes. you? Not energy. Yes. Uh, this is coming but we didn't and, uh, use this... wheat. We use potatoes because we saw them growing potatoes in the Martian movie, didn't we? Yes. And uh, for these, they are coming and instantly going because they're instantly going to the storage. And normally you can use uh, oxygen storages to store oxygen but we do not have that here but we do have energy storage clusters come out here Richard, I want to show, show them something else as well and the potatoes don't only provide us with oxygen but they're a good food source and you cannot harvest anything on creative mode okay. <laughs> right we speed uh, there look at all those lovely potatoes and we can speed up the process of their growth using bone meal. You get this from killing skeletons. Okay, and let me replant those potatoes. Okay. I'm replanting them already. Oh, okay. Uh, you're in the way. Sorry. Please get out of the way. <laughs> okay, and... Shall we go to here? This is the cafeteria. Uh, we have food and dehydrated potatoes, cake and cheese. Cheese can be found in cheese or on the moon, which does not exist in real life. But... Look, I'm floating. Yes, you float in space because there is no gravity. Well, there is, there is a little gravity, it's yeah, called microgravity. Because this uh, map uses never worlds for, uh, for the different planets and, and space, we can't use beds or they'll explode, so we use cryogenic chambers, cryogenic chambers, 
they do not explode and they are good for healing and if there's no oxygen it will keep you alive this is an energy storage cluster it can store a lot more energy than the normal energy storage this is the dna analysis place where we have cells dictionaries and helixes we can decrypt these and all these need power which we get from the solar panels again and i tell you it's very complicated trying to get the wiring that it took us hours because you really have to put the right wire into the right socket otherwise nothing happens yes this is the other part of the lab where we have a synthesis machine which can um, you can use chemicals to make stuff and this is the decomposer where you can decompose things into different chemicals for example if we get some wood and we put it in the decomposer you need to power it and uh, yes this is a chemical decomposer it can uh, turn normal elements into different chemicals for example jungle wood turns into cellulose obviously this machine does require power although it has its own little storage this is our synthesis machine which we can use to turn these chemicals into different things for example we can turn it into saplings for example First, and if we want to find out how to make it we can we can find it and uh, we can type down sap we can type down for example for a tree sapling we we use the chemist journal we got we put in a tin and this does we can't cannot make but if we do and we get oak sapling we can put it in here and we find out that we just need one cellulose and then if we put this book in the synthesis machine and and activate it on oak sapling we can put it inside and it will show us the recipe and then we just need to get we need to get cellulose in here put it in this exact sort and we can get one oak sapling how come you didn't tell me all this thing because I didn't know it at the time. Okay. So, we. Oh, this one on close. The other box next to it looks quite dangerous. Yes, because it is. It contains radioactive chemicals and it prevents them from decaying. Here uh, is Uranium. an empty room, and here is our display room. Uh, this is our, our displays. It shows us, for example, this part which shows us off with a satellite, which is where we are, which <laughs> is our station, and this this is some computers from Computer Craft. And uh, then, shall we go down to Earth and see what we have there? Whoa! And you're, he is dying from no oxygen. This room should have oxygen, but if we check the sealer, it will say I'm all it's right sealed. Now. I think it was only when you opened the airlock that you I got a little I... dizzy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is our launch pad where we have a a, a, a rocket, and different rockets can be for different uses. For example. So yeah, will you launch after me once I launch? Wait, wait, I'll go. 
You cannot go in a rocket with two Maybe people. Maybe you want to look at the launch. And there is a animation. Look. As someone waves. As you... Yes, I'm waving. Bye, Rishon. See you on a... See you in Long Stanton. It's not Long Stanton. It's actually a place where we get a tiny bit of power. And there it launches. And a bit of what we have is from computer craft, industrial, and a lot of it is from industrial craft. And electrical age. And yes. mine chem. And yes. DNA. Advanced DNA analysis. Advanced genetics. Advanced genetics. And that's our mod.